So this is the Mustix uh, 21 upgrade, 2021 upgrade, CNC 3018. Uh, three by 0 0.1 millimeter precise knobs. Not entirely sure what that refers to at this point, but we will be having a closer look. Obviously, software supported uh, GRBL, Gerbil control systems, Windows XP 7, 8, and 10. Uh, effective engraving side is the inside area. Sorry, is 180 by 45. Uh, it's made of aluminium, spindle motor. And yeah, I'm not sure which one we've got there. Rated power 60, maximum power 120 watts. Uh, drill bits, it includes some. Limit switches, yes, nice. Emergency stop, yes. Power head, so we've got a 5.5 watt uh, laser, 450 uh, nanometers adjustable power head. And this is the G3018 Pro slash 5.5L. Now we've got this as part of our uh, laser uh, engraving uh, effort and uh, we've obviously as you know got the proper laser machine coming in uh, a few weeks time but I wanted to get one of these and see what you can expect from a consumer relatively cheap model. This is about £250. It comes partially assembled, so we're going to take a closer look at everything. Looks pretty well boxed. Let's just get everything down. Hopefully, you can see everything on the camera. So, first out is the Mostix CNC 3018 Pro user manual. Right, we then have what looks like the cutting frame. I'm not sure which. Okay, so that is all one unit as you can see, hopefully. Ooh, looks very nice. So we'll just get that to one side for the moment and then we'll see what else is in here. So we do actually have some sort of laser protection goggles. Pretty cheap, and there are uh, scratches already on them. We do have an EN number on the side, but I'm not convinced I would be trusting that. ANSI and EN numbers to see if they go over normal glasses. Yeah, they're um, you can't see, but they uh, they do go over just, but they are very cheaply made and I wouldn't trust those as far as I can throw them and the fact that they're already covered in scratches and I don't think there's a protective layer to peel off. We'll have a closer look but I don't think that's the case. Next up we have a UK plug figure of eight lead so that is uh, good. We then have what appears to be the laser module. So we have, this looks like it's all got to be put together. We have a control board with fan. There's a switch and power supply socket there. So we've then got some cables and that is the laser itself, quite tiny. Little fan on the top, various cables. Here we have, uh, this looks like it is a guide for the cables, um, so you're going to feed the cables along this 
Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So that's a nice, uh, nice touch. A bit of uh, protection from, uh, from the cables rubbing on things as the head moves around. We have then got let's get the blade, snippers. Going here is just the control board. It looks like a display. No. Okay, so it is. Very tiny little offline controller. Hopefully that's focused. So offline controller, and it looks like there's a card already in there actually. Oh uh, yeah, there is. Uh, it's uh, if we pull that SD. Oh, no, it's not marked. Unfortunately, I don't know what the size is. We'll only find that out when we. Uh, Go to use it. But yeah, offline USB connections as well. You cannot use both at the same time, as I understand. You've either got to use the computer plugged into the machine or the offline controller. You cannot leave both connected. So, but at that price range, a minor issue. Uh, we then have what looks like a Z alignment system. Uh, looks like there is a. Oh yeah, that's it. Definitely is. Yeah, there's just a little crocodile clip that will clip onto the spindle, and then on you or lower the bit or whatever you're using till it touches and shorts out basically the circuit uh, to adjust the Z height. We have some, again some cable management sticky tab on the back. We have a USB drive, uh, probably uh, including the software and some uh, examples perhaps. We've then got the power block and uh, again very basic. This is 1.2 amp maximum, 24 volts. Uh, 5 amp, 1.2 amp, ah oh, sorry input, yeah so it's a 5 amp uh, 24 volt output power brick. And we then have oh, this is the main controller There we are, that is quite nicely done. It's got a little plastic mount and cover. So you've got the uh, X motor, Y motor and Z motor connections at the top. Let's see if we can get that in focus for you. At the bottom we've got the display and various other Connections Z limit, Y limit, X limit, 5 volts, A5. We've got the power button there, which is actually a switch. And uh, yeah, fan cooled, USB, uh, power socket on the side. so far with the uh, what we're getting for that level of money we have a very small bag of nuts bolts and brackets this uh, particular CNC laser it has a minimal amount of um, assembly required a lot of it is pre-built so they look like a pretty good quality I believe it says they are stainless steel we can test that 
that we then have a little box of basic bits there we are yeah they are all covered with their own little blue protection covers so yeah we'll have a closer look at those in another video and another cable there for uh, well, this display I think and then we have this main oh, hang on no we've got a, a USB cable first we've got some more cables switch in that bag we've got let me just put that there we've got another bag of all sorts it looks like we've got more screws we've got allen keys we've got spanners uh, quite tell what they are. I think they're just mounting parts in there. And here we have some cable ties. We've got some uh, short and medium length ones. And then we have this main unit. And they have already got the captive nuts in place. We have emergency let me turn this around emergency stop button so it's a press and then turn to reset this you can turn manually and that is the X that is a limit switch wire the actual spindle is um, covered in protective plastic talking of plastic that is plastic, I believe. Let me give it a little tap. Yeah, that's plastic. I believe an upgrade is to change all of this from plastic to metal. If uh, you need to, I see a limit switch here. I see another limit switch here. So, yeah, and you can control the X and Z here. So uh, yeah, I think that's probably everything. Let's just lay it out. I have to say that's quite impressive. Let's see if we can get this out of here very well packed okay I'm just going to sit down and we'll get this a bit more on camera so here's the table and again from the front you can Move this table manually backwards and forwards. We've got a limit switch at the back, one at the front as well. Nice cable management with uh, what looks like heat shrink. Underneath we've got two rails, some sort of bearing, a little bit of oil on there which is nice. Mm, don't see any make on these stepper motors but uh, again for this price I'm not expecting to see uh, a make on those so yes looks pretty good for the 250 quid that this cost we uh, don't know whether we should film this going together or uh, or not this is just supposed to be an unboxing video 
Let's just have a look at the instructions, see how long this is expected to take. And how good are the instructions? Well, so user guide, uh, accessories, assembly instructions, how to enable and release the limit switch. Uh, that looks like you can make changes in the software. Just one page. How to enable and release the Z probe. Uh, so, again, that is in software. Yeah, this looks very good. Offline controller user manual. Again, one page. It's reasonably straightforward. Uh, ER11 assembly instructions. I'm not entirely sure what an ER11 is. Oh, I think that's probably the. Yeah, it's the actual motor. And spindle itself with the uh, the chuck or collet uh, here. Again, single-sided uh, accessories assembly instruction, and this refers to the layout of the wiring going to the control panel and the emergency stop. Again, in the software there are pictures of it in the alarm mode and idle mode. A couple of uh, spelling mistakes but uh, pretty good for uh, again for the money. Now this is in... Oh, okay so we have a YouTube video tutorial uh, QR code uh, Mostix public page so they've obviously got a website and you can also download the software and other content uh, from OneDrive. So that's very nice touch as well. Very big writing. English 1 to 19. So we have a full blown parts list here, which is good. Uh, quite uh, good pictures. There's no, no mistaking uh, which parts are which there, which is nice. Do we have measure? Yeah, we have all the measurements there of uh, uh, screws and things like that. And then we go on to uh, instructions. Uh, I suspect this may be more assembled than uh, they're showing here. Actually, it is, but I suppose it's helpful to show how you take it apart and do whatever. You're also calling this Bakelite, so not all of this is aluminium. There is there is aluminium uh, front to back, but the actual, sorry down the sides, but the front uh, here, here, and these ends are actually uh, plastic, which they are calling Bakelite, which is an old 40s and 50s <laughs> material uh, pre-modern plastic. So it looks pretty straightforward. A lot of this is already pre-assembled. Completed and ubiety. I don't know what ubiety means. I'm going to have to look that one up. <laughs> uh, X and Z axis. How to assemble. Size of the bolts. Again, that has already been done. Spindle. How to adjust it. Where the control board goes. It looks like it is on the rear. Mm, yeah, just above here somewhere. Yeah, we've got connections for laser, spindle, stepper motors, uh, power button reset, offline control, which is a separate unit, and then we've got the limit switches and a probe uh, plug in there as well. Uh, we've got a drive to put the CH340 driver on there. Uh, most of my machines will probably have that already. Uh, and it's discussing the software control, offline control, back to more software. I mean, this is really, really very good manual indeed. I'm not seeing too many spelling mistakes. There's a few, there always are. And we have a expert mode. Expert mode lets users have more control over the machine. 
but users should have some professional knowledge. Uh, interesting, this is to do with the software. Uh, oh, now this is interesting. We have uh, the default configuration here. So if you ever change anything and cock it all up, which is quite possible, you do have all of the default uh, settings there and their uh, uh, G code numbers. Um, I'm pretty certain that's what they are. Yeah, it must be, must they? Must be G code numbers. Uh, again, a breakdown of parts, and then we're into Chinese. So uh, yeah, we're done. That is a really nice-looking uh, manual. Uh, pretty pleased so far. I did choose this one because I thought it had side panels, but maybe I uh, I didn't actually do that one in the end. There were two I was looking at. Um, I think the Sand Smart one had. Perspex side panels, um, but for some reason I chose this one. I can't remember why. I'll have to have a little look on the Amazon listing for both and uh, just decide, just let you know why I chose this one. But mm, uh, I don't I'm, know that. No, be quiet. <laughs> but I'm pretty pleased. This is a very good manual with some extra sheets. The quality looks pretty good. We've got all of the captive nuts in place and so we're just going to be able to quickly mount all of this and uh, it's a nice size this is going to be uh, quite easy to store uh, hopefully and use obviously we've got a limited range of heights again protected top and bottom with very basic cheap looking limit switches but uh, you know that's absolutely fine 10,000 rpm motor apparently I don't know what sort of noise that's going to make um, I think for my use this is really just for testing and getting an idea and a feel for this sort of machine uh, especially the laser side of it which we should have a little tinker with and see what it can and can't do and then compare that to the uh, f 10 times price well not 10 but uh, 9 times the price of the uh, RDL 4040 when it arrives in a few weeks but yeah I'm pretty impressed with this uh, so far so uh, we'll either do a separate video in a minute of assembling this or I'll get it assembled and uh, just do a video of uh, the assembly and powering up and that sort of stuff. But uh, it might be worth uh, an assembly video.